Hola, everyone. Good morning. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by and saying hi. It's your girl, Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard. And this lovely morning, I am going to be doing the great switcheroo. And I'm going to be switching from my current June happy planner to my exciting July happy planner and I've switched up the planners I've switched up the setup so I'm excited to share with you my July setup and yeah so if you're interested in checking that out just keep on watching So this was my happy planner for the month of June. I was using the Adventure Awaits Desert Dream, the Saguaro fantasy cover, and I had her on these gorgeous rose gold metal expander discs because she was really thick and chunky. Because I have um, I have 10 different planners Frankenplanned into one planner, and that's the beauty of the happy planner is that it works on a disc bound system and meaning that you can pull pages um, out of it and put them back in relatively easily and it's because of that it's super customizable you can stick anything in there as long as you can um, hole punch it and it's it's just absolute joy i love how much you can customize it and make it your own so i have 10 different sections in this particular planner and i just have one month for each section so i had 10 months of june in here for the month of june and i decided to switch that up um, for my july planner and my july planner is so thick she can barely close it's actually insane i might have to um, rethink <laughs> how much I have uh, going on in here. I mean, she can still fit in the zip folio pretty easily, but she does stick up quite a bit, so I might have to rethink that. But I just want to share with you what I have going on in my July planner, my July setup, and show you how uh, what she's all about. So. I decided to switch up the cover. I mean, I love the Adventure Awaits cover. I love it so much, and I was very happy to use this um, up till now. But for summer, I kind of wanted to switch it up, and so I decided to go with the Colorful Leopard cover because it's so gorgeous, and I put her on these beautiful turquoise metal expander discs, and she just looks so, so summery and fun. So I'm really excited for, for this, um, for this planner um so let's let's walk through it and i'm going to share with you everything that i have going on in here so for the cover page i decided to do another fun cover page so i scripted out my name and then i used these sunset colors to color it in and i used these really cute clear stickers from the colorful leopard sticker book to go along with that leopard print and the cover page is from one of the disney mickey mouse um, planners i thought it was really cute and so i am very happy with how this turned out and then we just have the year at a glance followed by the perpetual calendar pages which i've started to fill in a bit and then we have um the July monthly overview from this same Mickey Mouse planner, which because it's kind of separated from the actual planner, I just decided to make it a very, um, just a very decorative page that way that, that it's fun to look at and it doesn't feel out of place. I just have an envelope here, um, one of the Mickey Mouse envelopes. It has a bunch of larger stickers in there. And then I have a folder with some stickers and some more stickers back here and some pushing coloring pages. And then I have my sticky note dashboard here, which I glued a bunch of different sticky notes from the colorful leopard, as well as from some painterly pastel accessory pack and some Daiso sticky notes. I glued this to this um, leopard print uh, scrapbook paper which you know went with the whole colorful leopard theme that i'm trying to go on trying to go with and on the back of it i just have a mambi sticker with a floral design around the edges and then i have some stickers glued to a scrapbook paper these are mood tracking stickers 
and then I have my first planner section. So I'm going to be sharing with you all of the planners that I am using. So I have 15 different planners all Franken planned into this one planner and that is again the beauty of happy planner you can have so many different sections as many sections as you want and i used to have 10 sections in my uh in my june in my june happy planner i had 10 sections in here and i honestly think 10 sections is absolutely fine but the way the happy planner releases their planners is that they have a july start and they're 18 months long so they start in july and then they go through december of the following year and because i got a couple of planners for the next year to replace the sections i had currently had i ended up having planners that started in july though and so now i have like these five extra sections on top of the planners that I'm still trying to finish. So that's why I ended up having so many sections. And because I didn't want to not use those pages, I mean, I had these planners that started in July, and so I kind of wanted to use the pages instead of letting them go to waste. I mean, I could, you know, not use them and then redate them and then use them for other things, but I kind of just want to use them and I'm just going to give it a go and see whether I can keep up with it or not. I'm not too worried about it because I definitely didn't get them to use them for, you know, for a whole other planner. I got them for next year. And if it so happens that it's just too much, I'll just take them out of my planner and then just hold on to them until my other planners finish and then I can start them again. So. All right, let me share with you all of the planner sections I have. So this is a skinny mini planner. She's a wildflower planner and I use this for mood tracking. And yeah, I have a lot of fun with, um, with this little planner because it's a space for me to write an affirmation, to keep track of my mood. I use this, um, this monthly calendar view to write my mood down. And then for the weekly, I'll write an affirmation or something I'm grateful for or something positive that really helps me, like boosts my mood. So that's what I use this little section for. And it's really, really easy to fill up because it's so tiny. And then I have some mood tracking stickers on the sticker page um, on the back of that scrapbook paper. And then I have a Mickey Mouse envelope with some little paper scraps that I, you know, collect and save so that I can glue into my planner at some point. And then we have my gardening section, which I separated with the scrapbook paper. And then I have some gardening um, stickers on the back of it. And this planner is the Feel All the Feels uh, skinny planner. And this is such a cute little planner. I love it so much. And I love how positive the messaging is on it. And I use this for my gardening planner though, so it kind of doesn't really go with what I use it for, but um, that's fine. So so for the monthly focus, I use it to journal a little bit about what's going on in my garden. The monthly calendar view I use to write down important things like when I sow seeds, when I see that they've sprouted, when I harvest, things like that. And then this is the uh, current week it's currently monday morning and um i'm filming this right outside my garden actually i can see my garden from here which is wonderful i have my gardening bookmark and yeah that's my week and then i have a another envelope from the mickey mouse envelope collection with some paper uh, some photographs of of my garden which i like pasting into my gardening planner and then I have a, a bookmark, a Mickey Mouse bookmark, separating these sections from my um, my filler paper. So this is my bedtime routine and my sleep log section. And I just keep track of my sleep stuff there. And then I have another bookmark separating that from my uh, more of my daily productivity and well, daily wellness journaling pages. So I have um, some blank pages in here of different types. And then I have my first classic sized planner. These pages are from the Disney Mickey Mouse Be Happy dashboard. So cute. I use this section for spirituality and magic. So for this section, I like to keep track of spiritual and magical phenomena. I like keeping track of the phases of the moon, as well as zodiac seasons, as well as planetary movements. 
as well as the Aztec calendar. And so I have all of those things kind of written out in this calendar. And so for the weeklies, I just go in a little bit more into depth and I journal about whatever is going on. So there we go. The dashboard is gonna be really, really good for this. I'm really happy to be starting this section. It's something that I, that's that been on my mind for a while. And so when July started, I finally could dip into this planner and start the section. So I'm very happy with this. So that is my spirituality and magic planner. And then we have my um, academic section, which has all my graduate stuff. These pages come from this Disney Mickey Mouse See the Beauty in Everyday Planner. Very, very cute. And I absolutely love the plan these planner pages. I think it's perfect for this section. So I have my productivity stickers here on the back of the scrapbook paper that separates the section. And then I have um, the monthly overview the monthly calendar and then this is the current week it's currently monday morning and so i haven't written in, written anything down yet but that is this section and this is a um a vertical format but what i like so much about this section is that it has this to-do list on the side as well as this um grid box here on the side I don't really use the grid too much, but the to-do section is invaluable. I love that section, especially for my my like main job. So there we go. That is the academic section. And then I have my nonprofit and community service work, and I just have a bunch of sticker sheets here. And this is a vertical format from the Stephanie Fleming um, planner it says define your passion nurture your creativity and take hold of your dreams hashtag live a happy life and yes this one is perfect uh, because it has such a neutral format there's not that much color on the pages besides the dividers and i actually don't really like this divider very much but i already started decorating the monthly and then this is the current week i have my mickey mouse bookmark here but uh, as you can see, the weekly spreads are really, really neutral, and I like that. So this is all of my nonprofit and community service work. And then I have a new planner. So I originally got this planner to be my reading journal for next year once my current reading journal finishes. But like I said, it has a July start. So I have six months of this planner that I already have my reading journal for, and I don't want to... Um, switch out yet. I want to finish my reading journal and so um, This is these pages are from the press florals horizontal planner, which says live life in full bloom. This one is gorgeous I've already started decorating it with these mambi sticks um, from the wrong wrong collection and the press floral imagery is so gorgeous and I'm gonna be using this as my journaling planner. Uh, I'm gonna because it's horizontal. It's so nice to journal in. I know a lot of planner babes out there are using this particular planner for journaling, and I'm gonna be one of them. So I already started decorating it. It looks so 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 cute. I'm very happy with it, and I'm just gonna be using this to journal my thoughts, my feelings, my mood. Um, and I definitely wanted a journal journaling planner because that little mood tracker that I use in the beginning from the wildflower I it's not it's not really a journal for me I will write my mood but I'll write just one word and um, even if I do write about my mood like during the week which I usually don't write about my mood or how I'm feeling in this planner I just write an affirmation or a gratitude or something like that um, even if I did write about my mood it would be one sentence because it's such a tiny planner so this is going to give me some more space to be a little bit more thorough about my reflection so there we go that is my journaling planner and then this is a lined vertical from the um, colorful leopard planner so these are the pages that came with this cover and this is another planner that i got for next year but because it starts in july i have six months of a planner that i you know you know can have freedom to decide what to do with and I just wanted to do something with it and use the pages. So I decided to make this my current events planner. 
I like to listen to the news every day, or I try to listen to the news every day, at least for, you know, 10 minutes or so, and just get the latest news about what's going on in, you know, in on the state level, on the national level. And I definitely want to start kind of journaling about what I'm listening to and what's going on in the world. It kind of helps me, like, um, like process and connect with whatever is going on a, on a bit of more of a deeper level so i'm going to be using this as my current events planner and uh, i'm excited to to see how i do with that and then my next section is from a fitness planner and it's from this fitness planner that says listen to your body and it has this beautiful photography for the cover and the dividers and then they go in and do some fun lettering or some other type of decoration on top of the photography and it looks super cute so this planner i got for next year as well and i wanted it to be my fitness planner for next year but because it's an 18 month planner i have six months of planner pages that i just decided to do something new and fun with so from from now until the end of the year i'm going to be using this planner as my meditation and my mental wellness planner I've been really wanting to get into mindfulness, meditation, yoga, things like that. And I think this planner would be perfect to, to start that off with. So there is the monthly and then here is the first weekly spread. And I'm excited to work in this planner and we'll see how it goes. Once, um, you know, the end of the year comes, um, I'm going to be switching this over to be my physical fitness uh, planner but for now it's gonna be my mental wellness planner and then the next section is my um, my social life section so this is everything to do with my uh, with my friends my family um, social social life stuff and these pages come from this planner this was the you are made to bloom vertical classic and I already have changed up um, I've already set up my planner for the month of September and so that's why it's on these gold expander discs and it looks a lot chunkier than what it did when I first bought it and I just think that the floral the realistic floral imagery on the dividers is stunning I have some stickers here on the back of the scrapbook paper I love using the Mickey Mouse color block stickers in this section here's the monthly and then I have my little pressed florals bookmark and as you can see I've already started um, pre-planning stuff so I'm excited for this planner and I uh, this is one of the sections I had in my current setup but I was using a Mickey Mouse um, extension pack and I am almost done with that I just have one more month in it but because um, this planner started in July, I ended up just getting a planner for it. So I just have that one extra month from the uh, extension pack um, that I probably will use in my academic planner. And then the next section is my reading journal. Um, I have my reading stickers here on the side. These pages come from the Welcome to the Book Club Horizontal Planner. Very, very cute and appropriate for a reading journal. I love this planner here. So there's my monthly. And then I have my first weekly spread here and my press florals dashboard, which looks so cute. So I use this to journal about whatever it is I'm reading. I'm a huge bookworm, so I love to write a little bit about whatever it is I'm reading. And then the next section is my Japanese section. Before, when I, in my June setup, this used to be my creativity section. I had my Japanese in there. I had my Python, um, which is a computer language uh, learning in here. I had my YouTube in here. And it just, it was just like a catch-all of like fun, creative things I like to do. I decided that I wanted to separate it out in this coming month. And so I ended up just making this my Japanese section. So these pages come from the celebration planner this is a lined vertical with a bit of a color block to it as well and it's so, such a bright and colorful and fun planner i love it so um this is my monthly and then i have the first week here all decorated with these really really cute japanese stickers i like using these super cute kawaii japanese stickers for this section because it is my japanese language 
um, learner section, so I think it's really, really appropriate. So there's the rest of the pages. And then we have my fitness section, which is separated by this sticky note dashboard with all my fitness sticky notes. And then I have a bunch of fitness stickers here. And then the last week in June, followed by my July overview. And for this planner, I am using my Wrong Grong Fitness Planner, my first happy planner I ever purchased. So we have that, and then we have my monthly. I already decorated the first week here in July, and then we have the rest of the month. And then we have my YouTube section. So this is gonna be, this is a new planner that I got um, specifically for my YouTube because I wanted to split um, my creativity planner into um, different sections because it was just getting too much to be in one planner. So this is um, a color block uh, style from the Be Aware That You Are Rare planner and I changed up the discs on this as well already. And this is gonna be all my YouTube stuff because I do want to be consistent and continue to grow my YouTube. So there we have my YouTube section. I've already decorated it. And then we just have two more sections left. I hope you're, you've stuck with me. So this is my household section and I have a piece of scrapbook paper separating it. I have a bunch of household type stickers here on the back as well as I've clipped in some household stickers here on the rings as well as some like recipe and meal prep type stickers and a sticker sheet with all my pet stickers on it because I do keep track of all of my pets in this section as well. So this was the last week in June and then we have my July monthly overview and these, uh, these pages are from the Adventure Awaits Desert Dreams dashboard planner which was the cover of my, of my catch-all planner for the past six months so this is the July divider and then we have the July monthly and then we have the weekly spreads and I have my little bookmark here a habit tracker a grocery list and this is where I keep track of all my household stuff so my chores my shopping list um, also I keep track of anything that has to do with like my own personal self-care. These are the blank pages. I'm so happy that this month is uh, pink. The accents are pink because um, I like to work with pink more than I like to work with blue. And um, yeah, the box here is pink and last month it was blue and it looks like next month it's gonna be blue too. So. Um, we'll have to work with that one next month, but I'm glad it's pink. And then the last section in this planner is my budget section. So I have a piece of scrapbook paper separating this section and I just have a bunch of budget stickers here on this on the back of it. And these pages are from my budget planner, which is this one that says good things happen to those who budget. And it's just a typical budget planner. I've already started decorating it a bit. And there we have my monthly and then the monthly um, budget review. I have my Mickey Mouse bookmark here. And then we just have the weekly expenses pages. And then that's it, that's all. Those are all 15 sections in my july setup i'm really really excited to be working in this planner it's definitely going to be a lot and at this point i definitely i'm going to have to spend um, a good amount of time in my planner each day in order to feel like i'm really making use of all of the sections i have and i don't mind that at all because I love this. This is a passion. It's a creative outlet. It's how I like to keep track of everything that's going on in my life because I feel like I generally live a pretty busy life and I do enjoy living a busy life. Um, I just like doing things and so this really helps me stay organized and keep everything kind of compartmentalized and it motivates me to to make progress in all these different aspects of my life or you know just really live fully in all these different areas of my life so 
I'm very very excited to start my July planner. It is very very chunky. It's kind of a it's kind of it's kind of difficult to to close and flip through, but I again, I don't really mind that at all as long as it fits into my zip folio and there is Bugs. He's so cute. What are you doing, Bugs? What are you doing? He's so cute. He's such a cutie. Hi, baby. Hi. I definitely try to work in my planner about 45 minutes in the morning and then about 45 to 30 minutes at night. That being said, I also work in it throughout the day. I do take this with me to work. I have it open at my desk. So this does sit at my desk at work, um, especially because I do have like my academic section here, which has all of my academic to-dos. And so I have this um, right at hand. And so it, it doesn't feel like a lot of work once you establish like a routine to work in it and particularly if you use a lot of decoration a lot of stickers you'll be surprised at how fast um, stickers and writing will fill up the page and so i'm not too worried about it again i never want to feel overwhelmed with my planner and planning it's not meant for that um, if you are feeling overwhelmed with it maybe it's time to rethink your relationship to it and but it is supposed to help you and serve you it's not supposed to stress you out at all so so definitely don't feel guilty about you know not keeping up with your planner whatever that means just do what makes you happy it is the happy planner for a reason all right everyone i hope you enjoyed this july planner setup i am gonna go ahead and use these colorful box stickers um, to label all of my bookmarks so that way I can flip to sections easily and find where I am easily and um, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next 10 minutes or so but I will not be filming that because it's pretty boring so I don't need to film that yeah I'm excited to get into this planner um, it, I just love planning and decorating so 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 much 15 different planners may seem like a lot to some people it definitely seemed like a lot to me when i first started getting into planning i remember being so completely dumbfounded as to why people had more than two or three planners and i remember watching videos with people who had you know like 12 or 13 planners and i was just absolutely shocked i did not get it i was like how are you able to do that and now having planned a lot i realize that it doesn't take as much time as you think it's going to take once you start getting into the habit of planning and um, organizing and decorating it actually isn't that crazy that being said it's not for everyone it is for me because that's the type of person i am I am a data scientist, <laughs> so I do handle a lot of data on the day to day. And so this for me is just another way of um, data handling and data organization. In graduate school, I work with data sets that are absolutely immense. We're talking terabytes of data, data that a normal laptop or computer can't handle. I have to work on these data sets on supercomputer clusters. And for me, I think that's why I kind of like am used to the idea of huge files and huge data sets. And I've gotten used to working on that scale and scope. And that's why I feel like I'm kind of used to it. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this planner setup and my planner lineup. Let me know if you have any of the planners I shared with you today and what you're using them for. Uh, well, let me know your planner lineup. I would love to know and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!